Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to the Hiker Place video. Today we are on Voyage of the Four Seas. It is time to come in and check the events. It is a Monday, which means new events are here. I don't know if it's the Christmas events yet, but the Christmas events should be rolling around as well soon. So hopefully it's all in one. Hopefully these are a good set of events. Let's get right into it. So we're going to go in and claim about a week's worth of random mail. And then we can literally, I'm going to, you know what? I'm sure a lot of people are sitting there going, Hi, could you not send me friend stuff? Let's have a look here. We are still rank one, which is fantastic news. Boys, there is a there is a bit of a, I guess, content drought at the moment on these games. Uh, if there is two sets of events, we'll be doing two sets of event, you know, videos. So don't worry when the Christmas events do come out. If they're not here right now, that will come. And other than that, I know my posting has been a little quiet over the last couple of days. I have posted into the Discord as to why I've been away for about four or five days. Um, but I am back and you expect a lot of videos. So events here we go magic box is here now that is normally a good thing so let's have a look we have octopus and we have enel okay okay nice let's pick enel from here oh right we have to actually pick more don't we right let's pick enel from here we have the dreaming powders the rocks i want the scarlet jades i think it's only one pick as well so i do want the scarlet jades memory fires always a very very valid pick and then we've got the likes of Purple Bespoke, Superior Upgrades. I don't think it matters too much what we pick. That feels a little nerf, though. And then the last rewards, we are going to go with Wapple Mats, Adam Mats, and lastly, Holy Crystals. I think that is a pretty good, decent set of choices. Now, the most important thing is coming into the Grand Prizes. The first one is going to give us the Scarlet Jades, which is fantastic. The second one is going to give us no Scarlet Jades. That is a bit of a joke. Can the third one give us... It does. It gives us Enel and Octopus Fragments. Now, guys, if you want to be doing this, the best way you're going to want to do it is probably push to four. That's going to give you the Enel. That's going to give you the Octopus Fragments that you need as well. And it's going to be the most cost-effective way of doing it. Now, depending on how much you're willing to throw into the game, this is going to be a very, very valuable event. So, you can go in. You can buy... Well, you can get the packs for... 2000 as you can see but you are going to have to spend on top of that to be able to you know really make some value now if we come to the top we should also have octopus and thor fragments i don't think you'll hit this you may hit one but i wouldn't sort of count on it but this is a very very good event and you know do your dailies they should be able to hit get more so you can do all of these and maybe you get lucky at least hit some of the things as a free-to-play, there is a very good chance that you hit Enel here. Last time Luchi was here, a bunch of people hit Luchi on the first roll. It is completely down to luck. As you can see, there is a number underneath every single one, or on, on top of every single one. So you get five of these, five of these, five of these, six of those, nine, three of those, 12, 12, 12. That means there's that many in the pool. So a total of, I think it's 60 pools, completes the entire event. So you want to try and get to that point where you do your 60 pools, and that will get every single item. So you get three Enels if you did that. Now, I'm not saying go and do that, but just to give you an idea. Right, let's do our spin. The spins are still in the, you know, the old spins, so it's not great. Nothing good there. Ooh, hello. Okay, 12,000 only for Thor and 12,000 for Octopus. Guys, I think that's value. I think that's value, and I think I'm picking them both up. 5,000 for 60 of those is pretty good also. Wow, that is really, really good value. Okay, wow, these events are actually really good, boys. So, if you don't have Morion and Zombie Water Encant, like, start up a little, this is amazing for you. I have I immediately went and picked up the Octopus and the Enel. I think they're very good value for money as well, so super worth it. Um, if we scroll down, I just want to have a look at what else there is before we start really going into it. This event is always quite good as well, because we can go into Prey, we can claim that, and we can claim something like that. And then we'll hit wish. Hopefully, we'll go again. Nope, we'll go again. We hit it. Listen, for 2k, I'll take that. That's absolutely fine. That's another uh, jade we'll absolutely take. Over here, okay, cool. We're going to get 5,000 jades at the end of this. So make sure you go and do that. And this is if you top up. So guys, you want to do two top ups. You want to do a 198 and a 98. And that's going to get you all of these rewards. Super worth it. Because if, if you're going to be spending on this event, you should probably you know at least get those out of the way and lastly the magic chamber that is absolutely normal let's see what the wish recruits are so we have king back wow he's back already it's only been a month and we've got zephyr as well i mean it's up to you who you take i'm probably going to take the king here um but in reality i'm probably not also going to pull for him so i've taken him but i'm not going to pull for him uh the challenge always go and do your challenges bespoke i mean i think this just speaks for itself there's nothing crazy here so we will just do that. 
And all in all, I think the events are... Well, we've only got one set of events. But all in all, I think they're not bad. I do think they're not bad at all. So as you guys... Eh, I bit my tongue. As you guys saw... Uh, we did get the Enel and we did get the Octopus, which means I can jump in here and I can finally promote both of them as I will. That should give me a little bit of a power increase. So there we are. A nice bit of a power increase, in fact. That does put us up to 2 million on Big Mum. That does put us over 8 million power on our main account. Boys, these events are good. Right, I'm going to go over them, like, slowly now, I guess. We've, we've blitzed through them. Let's go over them slowly. Let me explain to you guys what you're going to be able to get and, you know, what you should be going for if you are. So, let's say you have a budget. Your budget is somewhere in the $400, $500 region. Great, that's a great budget. You can max this event out. You can, you know, get Enel. You can get Octopus. You get them to a high star. You're going to be working through this, and I think, is it post... No, round five is pretty good. Round six is pretty good as well. I think they're giving... You know what? Every single one of these rounds are absolutely spot on. They're going to be very expensive. But the fact that you're getting these every single time makes it really spot on. So, you know what? I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I think this event is an absolute win. Definitely go through and do these. In fact, I might just go through and do them now. I haven't claimed my idol XP in a good age. Uh, I haven't done these either, so let's just go and do these quickly. Um, right, I'm just going to take anything at this moment. Because, end of the day, we just we just want to get our 100% done. And, honestly, any gems we can get along the way is fantastic. I mention that, and I immediately get gems, which is great. So, we do that, we do that. Come on. Everyone's going to be like, why don't you just go for the 500 or 600 gems? Because, you know, I, I want to make this quick. I want to make this quick as well. The fact that we don't have a specific Christmas event yet tells me that there's probably one coming. I don't need to do this, but I'm going to do three times anyway because I think it's one of the event rewards. And I know if we go into Grand Fleet and then we go into the actual free trials, uh, we'll just attack any of these bosses. It doesn't really matter. Let's attack any of the bosses. This should give us a nice little boost. There we go, nice and easy. That is done. Boys and girls, let's see how many of the events we've done now. So if we come into here, we've claimed one. We've done quick battle one. Activity 100, we're not quite there yet. Ocean Trials, right, we do have to do this one, so we will do it. Should take a few seconds. As you can see, you should be able to just blitz through most of this. I think the events are only once, so it's not once a day. So once you're done with them, that's it. You're actually done for the week. The rest you need to spend. But this event is actually very valuable when it comes to spending so you know it's up to you what you guys do but ultimately this is actually pretty good value for money so sea trial we've done that thank you right we are going to also do the draws on the event so do not worry okay this one is always easy to forget done uh this one activity 100 we need to recruit five times we'll do a cheeky 10 times why not who knows, maybe we hit something insane. We hit smoothie, and, you know, we always need the food. Let's be super real. And that's done as well. Claim that. Claim that. There we go. Water 7, 8 times, and activity. Listen, once we do this, that should be water 7, and activity. That should be mostly done. I think we have to do arena. But as you can see, you can get these done very, very quickly. So any of you new players sort of wondering what you have to do, like, this is it. Super easy. We'll buy gold. You can never have enough gold. Um, and that's everything done. Nice. That should give me the last set of draws. Now, we can buy the packs. You know what? For the stream, we are going to buy the packs. It is going to cost us 12,000. So let's do it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Boys, we have just spent 12,000 gems on it. That is a 1,000 total magic sources, which means we get a couple of times five spins. Can we hit Enel is the real question, and the first answer is absolutely not, because the game hates me, but we did get the memory fires, and they are very, very good. Now, can we hit a second five times? We can, and we got a ton of material. I will take that. That is pretty decent. Let's go in and claim these while we're at it. So we will be able to get all this, which is nice. 
Now, if we do a couple more summons, as you can see, once we achieve, in fact, 14 summons, so the next five times, we are going to get more Scarlet Jades. Very, very good. So, do another five times. And we don't hit Enel. Guys, let me know down below if you hit Enel. Because if you did, you are one lucky sod. That's all I'm going to say. You are very, very lucky, and I'm low-key jealous. But, you know, as you can see, I don't ever hit Enel, and that's just how life is sometimes. Um, let's buy the ship part. That will unlock the next tier for us. Um, I'm going to come back out of the menu because sometimes it like glitches. And you can go back in and we have 520, which does mean we don't have enough for another five times, unfortunately. But I say that we may be able to get another five times if you give me a second. Let's buy one of these. That will unlock the next tier. And by the way, here I would be buying the Dreaming Powders. They are very, very good. Right. Is that now enough? That is 600. As you can see, it's 600 at the top, but it's glitched at the bottom here. So what you want to do when that happens is just close it, reopen it, and that should fix itself. So now we'll do one more five times to end this all. Can we hit Enel? And the answer is absolutely not. I am 100% sure there's going to be at least a couple of you in the chat that goes, Hi, can I hit Enel? And I'm going to say, well done. Um, but we'll do a one times and not hit it as well. So that's fine. Can we do another one? No, we're, we're now short. That is it. That is absolutely it. Um, or is it? Or is it? We can do one more. We can do one more. Oh, not enough. Okay, one second. Now go back in. Boom, we can do one more. Absolutely not. Okay, fair enough. We, we didn't get another one. That's perfectly fine. Guys, we are up to tier two. Do I recommend you complete tier two? Listen, if you're not going to push and put money into this, no. I think that's it. If you hit Enel and you hit the Scarlet Jades in that time, well done to you. If you didn't, don't spend money on this. Let's wait till Christmas and see what comes. Personally, I won't be spending any money on these. But, you know, in case anyone does want to, it's an option. And I think, yeah, it's going to cost you about 400 So, this event, absolutely solid if you need the gems. In fact, the gems are probably going to be quite useful because the super offered stuff is very, very good. Now, I do recommend you buy the Moria. I think Moria is priority over Zombra Watering Can. So if you are looking at trying to buy one of them, I would go for Moria over Watering Can. I think Destiny Keys are pretty decent, but 8k is a bit much. Um, and absolutely, definitely go buy Enel, go buy Thor. These are very, very worth it. So, boys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are going to do a Christmas reveal at some, some point when the game does give us the Christmas events, which I can only assume is going to be on Christmas at this rate. But it's all good, and hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.